In this episode I'm reviewing all the things I bought under 50 euros which are helping me extremely a lot during my shoots. Let's check the first one. It's the Aperture Light. I was resisting for a really long time to buy that light. And the reason is the price. First I saw it in a video of Peter McKinnon but I was like such a small light it's ridiculously overpriced, it costs 50 euros and I really didn't understand why should I spend those money. But then I started traveling and I started visiting a lot of museums and when we were recording in museums usually it's very dark. And to compensate most of the time I was turning on the flashlight of my phone but unfortunately it wasn't strong enough. Then I ordered aperture light from Amazon with the idea I'll just try it and if I don't like it I'll return it. I fell in love with that light, it's so good. And the cool part is that when you are passing the checks in the museums, most of the time they don't tell you anything because it's so small and nobody notices it. Here is a video which I shot in a nightclub with that light. The whip was extremely dark, but that light handled the situation quite well. Next item is a microphone. I'm using Rode Video Micro and this microphone is amazing. The best part is that it's extremely small and it's very comfortable to travel with it. Usually when I'm recording a travel video or I'm going somewhere, I'm always having that microphone mounted on the camera and when I'm using the stabilizer, I'm mounting the camera with the microphone on the stabilizer and like that I'm getting better sounds, plus I can directly record the audio for the vlog. I even recorded interviews on the Eurovision with that microphone and the audio was really decent. Here are a few examples. Who will be first when you will win? What do you do first when you win? Uh, cry. <laughs> The second microphone I am using and it's only 10 bucks is a lavalier mic, some Chinese one, but it works amazingly. Most of the time I'm using it in combination with external recorder, Zoom H1, but if you don't have the money to buy an external recorder, you can connect it directly to your phone and record audio to your phone and in that way you receive really quality audio. My next favorite item are the quick release plates. These are meant for autocopy. Each one costs between 10 and 15 euros, but they're very handy. I already installed the plate on the camera, so I just have to clip it. I have several of them and even I mounted one of them on my DJI Ronin S. I can extremely fast switch between the stabilizer and the tripod. It's very handy. Next one is the camera strap. Again, copy of Manfrotto. It costs only 10 bucks. It's not that good as the Manfrotto one, but it works. Let me show you. You have a button clip and then you just clip it. And here we go. Nice camera strap. I don't know about you, but always when I'm traveling, I'm having troubles with the chargers. They're constantly all around my luggage and it's really hard to organize them. At the end, I mostly found my perfect solution. I bought a pouch from Wall Pro. This is their gear up box for a small camera. In front, you have a small pocket, which I'm using for some small cables. And inside you have another small pocket on top, small pouch for SD card and here are all my chargers with the cables. Here is my Mavic Air charger, Sony battery charger, my Canon charger and I have some cables here. The best part about that pouch is that it fits perfectly in my Wall Pro Tactic 450. Let me show you. That was the hardest part for me to find the pouch which will fit in my camera bag. 90% of the vloggers are using Joby Gorilla Pot and honestly I hate it. I never fell in love with that product, it's ultra bulky. I was constantly mounting flashlights or microphones on it and after one year I managed to break it. I really don't like that tripod. Now let's check better alternatives. If you have a smaller camera or a mirrorless, the Manfrotto Mini. This is the best tripod for small cameras. It's ultra simple to use it. There is a button with which you can change the head position. It's ultra light and very simple and it's extremely cheap. This one is around 16 euros only. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold so good the Canon EOS R with 16 millimeter lens. Let me show you. In general, it's holding the camera, but the head is not that strong. If I tilt it a little bit down and it will fall. But that's the best tripod if you have a smaller camera. The next alternative of the Gorilla Pod is Coolman. It costs around 28 euros with the bow head and it works perfectly for the Canon EOS R with 16-35. to There is only one downside, it's a little bit heavy, it's 250 grams 
but it's metal and it's very good build quality. I'm still testing it, I'm already using it for two weeks. I'm mostly sure that I'm gonna keep it. Let's go to the next one. Phone holder. This one is extremely cool because of two reasons. It's extremely cheap and it can change from landscape to portrait for seconds. It's so easy. Chic. And you have locking mechanism on the back. So you can just tighten it and your phone will be extremely stable. I really can recommend you that one. I'm extremely happy with it. One more phone accessories I can recommend you is an egg timer. I bought one, unfortunately in my mice I cannot find it now. But on my last vacation when I was in Philippines I was using it a lot. I did a lot of time lapse with my phone and I used them in my travel video. It's quite cool. One more item under 50 is a CPL filter from Hoya. Let's try it. Don't pay attention that around is complete mess. Ugh. It's extremely cheap and it does the job. Next in my list is my rocket blower. I always travel with it. It's extremely handy cleaning your lens with it. Because most of the time when I blow, to clean the dust, I'm spitting on my lens. So that's why I start using it. The other item I have constantly in my bag are ear sticks. If your lens is very dirty, just take a little bit of water and clean it with the ear sticks. Those guys are cleaning your lens even better than the microfiber towel. To keep my SD cards organized, I bought this small pouch. It's pretty handy. It's not waterproof, but I quite like it. This one is extremely small and I bought it mainly for travels. Honestly, I never travel with it because it takes space, even that it's small. Maybe I have to start traveling with it. Of course, I have the bigger brother. It's like that. Both of them cost around 15 euros. The only downside of choosing to go with the cheaper version, which are around 15 euros, is the build quality. But I have that filter already for 2-3 years and I bet it can survive at least two more. The next two items are a little bit weird. The first one is waterproof bag. When you're going on a tropical vacation, I strongly advise you to buy a rubber bag. It's extremely handy and it can protect your gear. Most of the time I was keeping my camera inside and the main reason was that to protect the gear from splashes. When the boat is hitting the waves, a lot of water is coming in the boat. So such rubber bag is really handy. The biggest problem when I was shooting underwater photos was that my camera housing was fogging. And if it starts fogging, your whole day is fucked up because you cannot start record, especially if you're in the middle of the ocean and you don't have how to dry it. As a newbie underwater photographer, I didn't know that you can buy inserts. So these are extremely cheap inserts and you place them in the camera housing and that prevents your camera from fogging. That costs one or two dollars. Ridiculous. I hope you had fun checking out my items. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. If I don't do enough hours, I cannot quit my daily job. So please subscribe, please. If you made it that far, that means maybe you like me a little bit, just a bit. Subscribe if you want, I cannot force you.